Spotlight raids. I know these cannot be the easiest of raids. And I know this is a question I get asked quite a lot in my Alliance community is how do I tackle spotlight raids? So if you want to know how I tackle these raids on the daily, then join me in this video. What's going on everyone? I'm BPG and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I make at least two Marvel Strike Force videos every single week based around the events generally, but sometimes I get a chance to sprinkle in other videos like this. So if you find the content in this video helpful, please do consider giving the video a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you know when I upload any new content. And if you're new around here or not, why not smash a comment down below? I love to speak to each and every single one of you. So Spotlight Raids. Reason why I chose to do this is, like I said, I have had a number of people in my Alliance community ask about how I do the spotlight raids, how I how I go about the nodes on the daily. Um, and we do have an Alliance event starting on Monday, the 22nd of July 2024, um, that is going to give us extra points for the amount of spotlight raid nodes we can complete. Uh, very similar to the Sasquatch event that we had not too long ago. Now, there are Spotlight Raid it is split into a few sections. We have the first section, which is the non-mythic section. Now, this comprises of two nodes, both a standard node and a boss node. We then have the Spider Society missions, and there are three of these, two standard missions and a boss mission. And then we have the Alpha Flight missions, which there are three Alpha Flight missions and an Alpha Flight boss. And last but not least, we have the final boss. Now, what do I use to beat these on the daily basis? So for the non-mythic section, this is the team that I use. It is the Extreme X-Men with Old Man Logan. Now, if you don't have Old Man Logan, you can just sub in Cyclops and this works absolutely perfectly fine. Obviously, it's got to be non-mythic characters, so you can have legendaries, but you can't use people like Apocalypse or Super Scroll. Then we have the Spider Society. Uh, this is the team that I do the Spider Society nodes with. Um, this is done on the daily. I will say I do have to double tap the boss node on the spider society just because there is a pain point in it of the three iron heart mark twos that drop uh, giving all that speed and giving them extra turns which means they lap you and generally manage to wipe you out pretty quickly um and no matter how i have tried it i still cannot manage to one shot it these guys are all at level 95 and gear tier 18. So just keep that in mind when you are looking at this. And finally, the Alpha Flight nodes. These are done with this team here with this exact ISO setup. So we've got Fortifier on Sasquatch to make sure he can survive. We've got Skirmisher on Guardian. This is to make sure that we can land his stun, which is really important. Uh, now with the change to North Star, we have changed his ISO to Raider. It would have been Striker initially, but Raider, now that he is the first one to go in the team, uh, we have Raider on Wolverine and Striker on Sunfire. And then on the final boss node, what I do is I take out Wolverine from the Alpha Flight team and I replace him with Super Scroll. Now, if you don't have Super Scroll, you could replace him with Old Man Logan and it would work nearly as well. I find Super Scroll to be a much better counter to that final boss node and it allows me to do it in a one shot with the team at level 95 gear tier 18. Um, as it goes on, I'll probably be updating these teams to level 100 and eventually gear tier 19 when that bottleneck finally releases for me okay so these first two nodes i haven't got any footage of but they are basically sim nodes for me with the 
team that I have there. So level 95, gear to 18. Um, I can go through the T4s for you. Um, the ISOs that I showed in earlier are a little bit off because I've currently got them partially set for the um, Cosmic Crucible that's going on later. So they're all set to Raider at the moment. However, when I go into the raids later on, you'll see my raids are due to restart in 26 minutes. I'll change the ISOs back around in the raids to what I would normally use, which is Striker on Sunspot, Raider on Nightcrawler, Raider Skirmisher on Old Man Logan, Striker on Forge, Raider on Gambit. So here we are in the spotlight raids and the first node we are going to look at is the spider society nodes this is node one you can see the setup here i have is peter b in the center with the skirmisher the reason why i use skirmisher on peter b is because he has a chance to assist a spider um, society character and when he assists that is going to put the vulnerable out and that is going to allow then Pav or Penny to do a double tap. We're going to go into Bishop here with a special to remove that taunt. And then we are going to work on this right hand side here from the Spider-Man 2099s and the Star Brands. We're just going to go into them. Do as much damage as we can. He is going to assist. There you go. Look, there was the assist chance and the skirmisher landing. That meant that my Pav then got to strike a hit that. Peter B is going to flip those uh, star brands and then we're going to go for a cheeky flip and stun on this front uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Again, Peter B got that assist in and then that allowed Penny to go and do a double tap. We're going to go and put some more bleeds out now onto the star brands. And we've got the safeguard up, so we're not going to get flipped by Cosmic Ghost Rider there. Spider Punk doing what we're doing to our opponents and dodging some of their attacks. And here we're just going to save the special from Spider-Man Noir. Now, I'm saving this just in case of the Gwenpool or the Wong. I don't want to get stuck behind a taunt from them, so... That is why I am saving that for now. We're now going to go in and we're going to stun this star brand. We're going to go in and ability block this star brand here. And little did I know that these uh, bleeds would be so potent. They just fall over. We take fire stars ultimate in the face with no problems. Have comes in does his basic we we'll try and get this uh, fire star down spread a little bit of damage onto Gwenpool yeah that offense up off of Gwenpool and the defense off up off of the uh, cosmic ghost riders that's important go in we get some energy generation there and a double tap and there is fire star down did we Disrupted Wong, so he doesn't get the taunt, which is nice. We're down to the four left now. So just the Cosmic Ghost Riders and um, Spider Punk and Wong left. This will be really simple to take down. And now we're all about cooldown management in some ways. This is a short cooldown on this ability. That's why we use it. Again, another short cooldown here. Only three. It's going to just allow us to keep going going to use Penny's basic here double tap there and a basic there for the blind so the blind means that we're not going to get hit by the cosmic ghost rider this is really nice and you'll see here I'm now debating on what to do I'm going to go in and just do the basics here now And another basic. 
with an ISO 8 attack and down that first node goes no issues there at all as you can see now we're going to go into node number two again same positioning no need to do anything there showing you a few of the uh, things now there is a cheeky little technique you can do here with this node obviously there is a dull marmu on this node and what you can do on this node is if you've got extra raid energy um, you can just go into this node and hit the spider-man noir ultimate that will do some damage into the dormammu here then you can stop this and lose the battle so don't retreat but lose the battle and that will take all the revives off of them you can then go back in with the revive uh, free but i'm just showing you here that you can actually just fight through the revives as well it's not a big deal we are stuck behind the taunt here from absorbing man that's going to get flipped by penny and he's going to get stunned now and then we're just going to have a look and we're going to find the person with like the blind here for example no nope. i'm going to try the ability block that won't work we should have really uh take the blind from the absorbing man there that would have spread that across the entirety of the um, people here and you can see that we're, we're pushing through this these revive onces from Dormammu it's not an issue at all the bleeds are fairly potent they're dealing with them I mean Red Hulk there just went down to a bunch of counter attacks Gonna go in with Penny's just basic, get a double tap there. We'll try and take the taunt off of Miss Marble. We are successful. Umami's down. going to go into miss marvel again so now we're literally left with the two miss marvels which are taunters we've got two absorbing mans they're pretty tough we want to get rid of that um the uh shield medic because we don't want mockingbird coming back and we're now just going to go in and take out the novas that should be the last of the um, revived. Nova's now dropped their charges. We can just go in and focus these Nova's down, get them covered in negative effects. Gonna use Peter B's ultimate now, get some offense downs out there. There we go look peter b coming to the rescue again with his abilities I'm gonna spread this blind now look wonderful both novas haven't even really bothered me at all in with pav's ultimate there's abomination down we're still stuck behind this horn on absorbing man but peter manages to remove that for us Again, looks like we get really hit hard here, but it's not an issue at all. We are really just powering through this. Target the Red Hulk, stun him just to make sure there is no issues there and that we're not going to get a mad Red Hulk going off at us. And then we're just going to basic this to the finish. Reserve a full few cooldowns, get some basics in. Those two drop and Gwen just kicks Red Hulk through a portal. I love that animation. Now the boss node, as I said, this is a node that I am never able to do in a one -er. If you guys have any suggestions on how to do this or if you are able to do this, please do leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys, but you'll see here I'm going to take on this boss node right here. Uh, 
I do try this little placement uh, change, which is to move Noir into the middle. It's just to try and split up um, the pack a bit. So when Noir goes into stealth, uh, it means that the, the sides are kind of, uh, you know, split. So we're not going to get a chain for if there's any chain attacks. And I just go in here. I'm trying to do as much damage as possible. Now, the key to this node, um, to do this node pretty well, is to ignore the zombie Iron Man's, as, or zombie juggernauts, sorry, uh, to ignore the zombie juggernauts as much as possible. Um, you might see here that I am hitting them quite a bit, but that's because I'm stuck on a taunt with this guy. Uh, Penny goes in, she does her stun ability. We're just trying to get that taunt off of this zombie juggernaut because I don't really want to be hitting him. The Starnak comes in, that really hurts. Um, they do, they do some big damage to star brands in this node. So now we're going to control the Iron Patriot because I don't want him coming across and trying to uh, kill me because he will. And then we're in on the Val. Going to use Peter's basic here because we want to try and hold Peter's ultimate if we can until we get the wave with the Iron Heart Mark 2's drop. So we're going in here, we're just basicing. I put the blind out there, which meant he missed. We're going to dodge all of that. So outside of building these guys bigger, which I will be doing for uh, DD7, but 9518 has been doing what I need it to do in Spotlight Raids. I don't mind two tapping this node occasion, you know, occasionally or waiting for my lane partner to come behind me and pick this up. Um, now here comes the hard part. So here we have the Iron Heart Mark II. As you'll see here they have spawned in. They have given all the, because uh, it's a raid, they have given all the um, Pegasus members speed, uh, extra speed bar. Um, and this has meant that they go absolutely nuts. They take turn after turn. There's an ability block there. This is the worst thing that could have happened is ability block on Peter B because now um, I can't use Peter's I couldn't have used Peter's ultimate to get a big heal on. You'll see here we are going to go down quite harshly to the Pegasus members here. And this is this is just part of the node itself. Now, I think once I've got my uh, Spider Society members up to level 100 gear tier 19, I don't think I'll have any issues at all with this. In fact, I'll probably even be able to sim this. Um, but currently with the star levels that they're at and the um, abilities that they're at, I, I've just got to uh, do this. You'll see here I use a lot of cores. Um, but this was for the good of the video. So I did this for the video. Uh, 300 cores spent on this video. Don't mind doing it for the good of the YouTube community. So we now go in and very simply the turn bar still there look they're going to get extra but because they've taken turns they've not got their ability energy back so they're not going to have much to do we're stuck on that zombie juggernaut in the corner we want to try and get off him as quickly as possible so we can focus on these iron hearts as much as we possibly can. The ability block on Peter again, which is really frustrating. I'm 
going to stun the Iron Patriot. Take that one out. Peter dies, but it's fine. We can get through this without Peter. Pav comes in. Big hits from Pav. Going to control that zombie juggernaut. Make sure that he doesn't do his special on us because he's gone through with his ult already. And then going to use the ultimate. That's going to pile a load of bleeds up. You'll see the zombie juggernaut has now disappeared. Getting the offense down out and the slows. Now we're going to get some energy. And this is just how simple this is. But we do have to two tap it. So like I said, if you know of a way how you don't have to two tap this outside of building the Spider Society to a higher level and gear tier, please do let me know in the comments down below. I would really like to hear on that if there is any special way of doing it. But as of yet, I've not been able to find a way without having to two tap the Spider Society boss node. And that completes the Spider Society section. Okay, so here we are in the Alpha Flight Mission 1. And in this, we are against some Extreme Ectman. We are against some Mercs for Money with Panda Paul and Deadpool. We are also against some Hulkbusters there. And let's see how this node breaks down. Okay, so Nightcrawler is going to go in, and the first thing we want to do is we want to use the North Star Ultimate on Forge and flip all those abilities. And now we're going to go in and we're going to stun Nightcrawler. This is going to control this sort of edge here. And it's also going to make sure that Deadpool's in a position where we can possibly get a two tap here. So Wolverine's going to kill the first Deadpool and the second Deadpool, and that is going to put two stacks of negative effects out and put positive effects on ourselves. We're then going to put the trauma out from Sasquatch. And we're just going to go along here. We're going to target people. That's an unfortunate revive there. That's like a 20% chance to revive. Um, and now we're taunting from Pandapool. So we haven't got full control of this battle yet, but it is coming. Don't you worry. And there, Guardian Special. And now we're going to go in with the Wolverine special and he's going to chop some dudes up. And Sasquatch's turn rewind. So because of that, I couldn't control the uh, Hulkbusters, which is what I would normally do here. We're going to go in, we're going to hit these guys. That's Sunfire down. And again, this is really hurting the taunt on panda pool is really hurting and this revive that he's getting really starting to hurt now um we're gonna go for another stun on dakin this time so again just keeping control of the fight all the time wolverine's ultimate some big damage there and we finish off with a mockingbird and a sunspot this is the last ones that we have there to fight in a minute but as you'll see, we pretty much have this fully under control, this fight. It is not a hard fight at all. We can don't need to worry about cooldowns really here. We can just go in and blow everything. We're going to stun Nightcrawler just to make sure that he can't do anything to us. And then Wolverine's going to go in. He's going to chop up some dudes. And then we can just basic, literally auto basic into the last guy. No problems at all. And that is node one done and dusted. And here we go again, that spreading out tactic with Sasquatch. And this works out to our advantage here. We're going to go in with the North Star Alt. And we're going to stun that Kang. And I'm thinking about going for the Red Goblin here. Yeah, so I go in with the special here on Red Goblin. We're going to rewind Red Goblin.
We're going to go in and we're going to get that wonderful kill there from Sunfire. And we're going to take some pain from Kang, but it's not too bad. Northstar's going to go in and blind everyone. It's amazing. Guardian's going to go in. He's going to put the defense down and the slows out. And then we get a double tap. We get a tap on Venom and a tap on Red Goblin. And now everyone is really in pain. I'm going to switch to this Kang, get rid of this one. I'm going to decide who's more dangerous here. We've got the blind on that Pavitra, so we're going to put the other one down with the Termeter. And we're just going to keep on going on that left hand side on that Kang and that Av. Try and get them down. In comes this next wave. Now this isn't brilliant because we've not got our, uh, our abilities, but we're going to get some back now. We're going to go in with the trauma. And now we're going to do the flip. We're going to stun the penny again. And into the path with the big hit and another big hit. Lovely. Two Raider crits. Beautiful. Now Sunfire's going to go burn some fools. And he does so. We're going to get the blinds out over this side with North Star. And we're going to turn rewind this Morgan. And straight back in with wolverine doing what wolverine does we're going to make sure we get rid of the peter we're not going to make that mistake again we're going to target this morgan lefay just to make sure she dies before she goes again and then it is literally go time for north star getting the blinds out and as you can see this node now is pretty much done and dusted in with the defense downs and Wolverine's going to go for the big hit. Yep, he's going to climb on her and kill her. And then we're just going to auto basic the rest of this. And that is how you do node two of the spotlight raids. OK, and now for node three. Now we swap our positioning back here. This is very important because the Void Knights in this node are going to pull us all together. And I don't want I've had it in the past where characters have been pulled through when you've got sasquatch in the middle so i put sasquatch at the far end and that pulls them all together and stops them from getting out of sync with each other we're gonna have to just take this 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 initial barrage we're just gonna have to take and we we only get the water uh, to basic here so we're gonna put some basics down on this void knight this is a very simple node to do um, shouldn't go too wrong. There is one thing to pay attention to in a moment. We're going to go with the Sunfire roll. Try and burn this Void Knight down as quickly as we possibly can. We need to weather the storm here. Just weathering out this storm with the death proofs and the heals. Now we're going to go with the Wolverine special didn't want that to really do that but hey it's fine north star is going to come in and flip and now for the important part you want to put the stun on gwenham if you do not manage to land the stun on gwenham you need to restart this node uh, purely because if you do not do that then you are going to be hit by gwenham's special and that will kill two or three of your guys now we've got the train going we can go after beta ray bill and then into phyla Vell. and now we're going to get this left hand side with the blinds get them going make sure that we can control this matchup in come the next wave we're going to carry on on the gwenham here now as you will see this is not a hard battle to do we using the timings there to get the extra 
negative effects out. We're now going to put the trauma down. Um, Wolverine is going to go in with some huge damage there. We're going to get some more blinds out. Make sure that we neuter that big time Spider-Man, neuter that Robbie Reyes. And, and really, this is all about getting control. Now we are completely in control of this match. We'll see here. We are not struggling at all. Counterattacks coming in. We're going to go for a Sunfire Alt here. Targeting Robbie. That should get a double tap for us there. And then there's a nice bunch there. So we're probably going to special. Yeah, we're going to special with Wolverine into that bunch there. We're then going to turn rewind the Phylavel. And now it will be a North Star ult again. And look at them. They're just covered in these negative effects. Stun that Void Knight. Make sure that we don't get any nastiness coming from there. We're going to do the special. It's going to give us offense up and the ultimate. And now we're going to go into that big time Spider-Man. There's those two. And now we can just auto basic down the Void Knight. Not a problem. That is no three done and dusted. And then we go into the Alpha Flight boss. Now, again, this is one that sometimes I have to not double tap i don't die but i have to like go in and clean it up just because of time and that's mostly down to stars and that on my uh on my alpha flight with a few more stars and that now here's an important part you want to stun that lizard make sure that he doesn't go that is the key and then we're gonna special into dark or um yeah dark Hawk. And then we're going to put the ultimate in here. Now, it's tempting to put the special out there to try and turn rewind people. But you do not want to do that. You want to get the trauma out. Don't worry about these Iron Patriots that are going to come in and do their specials. You've got safeguard. Your abilities can't be flipped. And their abilities do very little in regards to that. Now we want to go and put the blinds over on this right hand pile, starting with Viv. Uh, the reason for that is we do not want her to be able to a blind us and b but you know be able to flip all those effects that's why we want the trauma out straight away this is helping us control this fight there's another stack of negative effects going on this fight is just if you play it right it is so easy here we go sunfire he's gonna burn the world down now Make sure that Viv Vision dies. Now we can do a turn rewind on the Hulkbuster. Let's make sure that we don't get any barrier out from his special. And then straight in with the blinds again on this left hand pile. And now we're going to go into the right hand pile. We're going to put more defense downs out. Look at them. They are covered in negative effects anyone who says that this team is not a good team they seriously need to look at what they're doing with them because i have found them a superb team in these raids uh, i have no issues with them ever they're just brilliant we're gonna go with the sasquatch alt again It's all about snowball and control. So you've got to work really. And again, we're going to stun the lizard. The last thing we want is for the lizard to be taking away our positive effects and flipping our positive, you know, and having positive effects on himself. The whole point of this team is to try and control those positive effects. Make sure your opponent is covered in negative effects. And just to get those snowball kills, now we're onto the last wave, which is the couple of Mr. Negatives and another uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. But I'm really not worried about this now. We'll leave the uh, the little Mr. Negative minion up because he will act as quite a nice little thing where I can uh, just target him later on or now and put some more negative effects out because he'll die and that will then cause the negative effects to go up again. Gonna go in with the special here into Mr. Negative and, and Iron Patriot. And here we go now. 
It's an offense up. It's a massive sunfire hit again. Nearly got that lizard down. And you can see how easy these boss nodes are. Um, the Alpha Flight section, I actually find one of the easier sections to play, really. It's, it's a really nice section to play, and there is very little RNG if you play it correctly. See here, the Cosmic Ghost Rider special did absolutely nothing because of the blinds. We, we just got this whole match under control here, so it's really simple. More blinds going out. And even still, look, nothing's going to happen to my guys. They're not going to get ability blocked. We can take that, not a problem. This team just has so much sustain, so much energy generation. Just, It's just brilliant. Really, really brilliant. And so there you have it. That is the Alpha Flight and Spider Society nodes for Spotlight Raid 1.2. Now, this can obviously be put into the other difficulties of Spotlight. That's just the difficulty that my alliance does. Hopefully this video helps you. And if it does, please do remember to consider giving it a like. What do you think of Alpha Flight? Do you think I'm mad with my opinion on Alpha Flight? I think they're a really good raid team. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And until next time, everyone, stay positive.